I'm gonna share the top three reasons you should use Webflow for your SaaS landing pages. I'm in no way affiliated with Webflow, nor am I sponsored by them, uh, but this is the video I wish existed when I first started my company. So let's cover definitions first. Landing pages are your standalone web pages created specifically for marketing or advertising campaigns. As an example, these are the landing pages for my company, Hootsie. So the homepage, pricing page, anything visitors see before they log in. Now you probably use something like Angular or React for your primary app, but you should use something more lightweight for your landing pages so that they load quickly, giving you higher conversion rates and improved search engine optimization. All right, with that, let's get into it. Reason number one, Webflow saves you time, a lot of time. Here's the trap that a lot of technical founders make. You think that because you know HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, that you don't need a no-code tool like Webflow. That's what we thought when we first built the landing pages for our company. It resulted in time wasted selecting a static site generator, figuring out how that static site generator works, creating a GitHub repo, setting up the hosting service, setting up the code pipeline to deploy changes, adding an SSL certificate, setting up HTML and JavaScript minification, routing traffic from the root domain to the www subdomain. It goes on and on. And if you don't know what some of that stuff is, good. You shouldn't need to know it. And then the biggest one that you don't fully appreciate until you make the switch, which is time save making updates. In Webflow, it's so easy. You see something you don't like, you just click on it and change it. And then just click one more thing to publish that change. Reason number two, search engine optimization. If you have a SaaS, you should have a blog. If you have a blog, it should be part of your company domain, not part of your subdomain. For example, your blog article should reside at mycompany.com slash blog, not blog.mycompany.com. This will give you a significant SEO boost. Here is some proof. So one person on Twitter shared how their traffic almost doubled in seven weeks after removing an existing blog from a subdomain to a primary domain with the time of the move indicated by the dashed red line there. And here's another example where the blue is the traffic when the blog was on a subdomain and the red spike was when it was moved to the primary domain. Creating blog articles with a static site generator is a pain. And as we just showed, you don't wanna create them as part of a subdomain using something like WordPress. With Webflow, it's super easy to create blog articles with their built-in content management system. And you can easily customize the look and feel of the articles. Reason number three, your marketing team will want it. As your team grows, you'll hire some marketing people. Marketing requires a lot of experimentation, so they'll want to make frequent updates and create new pages for different marketing and ad campaigns. You don't want your marketing team bothering your developers with every little change nor will the marketing team want to do this. A tool like Webflow allows them easy control and the ability to quickly revert to previous versions, leaving your developers free to tackle the harder problems. So these are the top three reasons. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments. I hope you found this helpful. Please subscribe for more and have a wonderful rest of your day.